You're going to the 1984 Olympics in Los Angeles, and some of your friends are asking you questions. Aren't those freeways congested? Can you find your way around? Will you find a place to stay? Does the city have much of a cultural life? What about the smog? Will you have to pay exorbitant prices? Won't it be terribly crowded? What about security? How safe is Los Angeles? Good question. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we are not finally But relax, into Los there's Angeles, no need to worry the because you're about Summer to Olympics. experience one of the most varied and vital cities and in the United, United States. We hope you have a wonderful time at the games. Los Angeles is a city of dreams and dream makers. In the minds of millions of people worldwide, the image of America and Americans was created right here in Hollywood. But LA is also a pioneer in high technology, aerospace, and medical research. Its 12 million energetic citizens have created a $150 billion economy. It is a city of fine homes, large universities, palm trees, beautiful beaches, and it's home to practically every ethnic and cultural group known to man. L.A. is a trendsetter in fads and styles. Everyone, no matter how different, has the right to live and express themselves in L.A.'s warm California sunshine. If it's a new dance, a new sport, or a combination of the two, L.A. is the place to try it out, especially in the beachfront community known as Venice. They come here to see and be seen. Their lifestyles may be worlds apart, and they may be from many places, but they're all Angelinos now. So now you say to yourself, good, I'm going to experience a city that is just as exciting as the Olympics itself. Two shows for the price of one. But you ask, do the people of Los Angeles know how to put on an Olympics? First of all, they've done it before. In 1932, at the depths of the Depression, they staged an Olympics that was Spartan by today's standards, but by unanimous opinion, a great success. The 1932 Coliseum stands ready for the 1984 Games, as do other existing sites or venues, as they are called. Los Angeles is a mecca for sportsmen. Most facilities already exist in the greater urban area. Few new facilities had to be built. Even the Olympic villages could be located at two major Los Angeles universities, USC and UCLA. Thousands of people are working feverishly preparing for your arrival. As part of a $700 million airport facelift, they are completing a $124 million international terminal bigger than three football fields. Seven million passengers a year will pass through here. And when it's your turn to go through customs, you will have a choice of 72 counters capable of processing over 2,250 passengers an hour. Los Angeles has a good number of first-class luxury hotels and many more modest ones. In total, there are 85,000 hotel rooms in the city, and thousands are still available for the games. Many hotels have signed an Olympic pledge to voluntarily keep their prices at January 1, 1984 levels. Hello. Come on, can I help you? I like to go track and field competition. To help you find your way to all the sports and cultural events, many of the hotels are setting up Olympic hospitality desks. Thank you very much. Okay, sir. 
Can you tell me how to get to the Japanese Cultural Center? Since the 21 sports will be played at locations spread throughout the greater Los Angeles area, the Los Angeles Visitors Bureau will operate seven days a week at three strategically located centers where information on the venues and the city will be dispensed by a knowledgeable staff. Now, from where we are here, okay? Yes. You can pick up bus 456 right here. Oh, that's good. We'll go eastbound here. How long does it take? About an hour. Okay. Thank you. Los Angeles. The athletes and their coaches will be housed in Attention, Olympic villages. But if you are a fan and don't yet have a room reserved, the Los Angeles Visitors and Convention Bureau has lists of private organizations and individuals that can help you locate comfortable sleeping morning, quarters. Daily, hundreds of packets of housing information um, go into the mail, uh, and telephone well, inquiries are answered in, constantly. Uh, Papad, some store to Los Angeles, who? Ett sex noll åtta. Då ska vi skicka dig en list som brokers och rental agency som gör det. The Beverly Hills Board of Realtors is one of 40 such firms that are compiling the addresses of private homes that will be available during the Olympic period. And I, what These I lists are filed and Olympic recorded in computers for your they choice. They are uh, brokers that we believe are ethical and will do an excellent job for you. If you are coming with your family and wish to stay in a house, hundreds will be available. Some are modestly priced, others are quite elegant. If you want to live like a tycoon for a few weeks, you can even rent a luxurious yacht. Quick, safe transportation will be essential. The city's traffic engineers have an Olympic task force planning for the Games. They're constantly studying alternatives, past histories of traffic patterns at sporting and cultural events, even staging rehearsals for getting to venues and minimizing congestion. So they're going to go this way. Oh, I thought, I thought the Olympics, uh, the traffic was going to come off over here. Right? They are. Yeah, both. There are two of them. They got, they're going to try and get them off. Fortunately, Los Angeles has a great deal of experience in moving large numbers of people. It is visited annually by over 32 million tourists and is hosted to major sporting and cultural events year-round. The anticipated 400 to 600,000 Olympic visitors should add only a slight 10% burden to its transportation system. The experts recommend that you use the city's bus system. 550 more buses are being added to an existing fleet of 3,000 buses, all controlled from a computerized nerve center. Special lanes and restricted freeway on and off ramps will enable these okay. air-conditioned vehicles right. to speed you to your favorite sport or cultural event with Deep minimum five, delay. Because three major stadiums are downtown and will have the greatest traffic flow, shuttle buses will run at short intervals in that area. Express non-stop service will run from downtown L.A. to the seven major venues. Park and ride lots in outlying areas will also have shuttle buses carrying spectators to the venues. The Rapid Transit District has an information center downtown. Here, one can obtain comprehensive bus schedule data as well as individual attention in several languages. To further reduce traffic volume, six of the games have been scheduled on weekends. There are seven and one half million licensed drivers in L.A. 96% of the trips here are taken by private auto. And that is why this city has a state-of-the-art traffic operations center. Here, traffic experts can monitor the flow of traffic over L.A.'s extensive freeway system 24 hours a day. Magnetic loops embedded in the concrete every half mile record the number and speed of cars passing over them. Computers then translate this information into red, yellow, or green lights. If the lights indicate a problem, the controllers can monitor major locations via TV cameras or call in a helicopter to actually observe the site and determine the correct response. Looking at the northbound direction, there's no congestion. To help everyone find their way, particularly non-English speaking guests, graphic artists are creating a series of visually explicit instructions and signs. 
A mobile van will also be sent to various locations to dispense maps and transportation information. Appropriate freeway exits will have these displays prominently mounted. To complement the city bus line, many private transportation companies will be operating buses, minibuses, vans, and limousines. These small private lines will be used mainly by private groups and Olympic participants. Hundreds of additional drivers are being hired or are volunteering for the occasion. They are being taught the best routes to take from venue to venue, as well as preparing alternate routes. Thousands of visitors a day will be transported by these vehicles. Often what happens is, yeah, you run into stop-and-go situations on a freeway, but let's face it, on streets you run into stop-and-go situations too. Another Los Angeles innovation that will play its part in reducing traffic congestion is Commuter Computer, the first and largest ride-sharing organization in the U.S. with over 300,000 members. Information about potential ride sharers is being carefully collated by computer so that groups with similar commute routes can be formed. Putting four riders in one car gets three cars off the road and saves precious gas. Commuter Computer will help 700 companies move their employees to and from work during the Olympics. General Telephone, another sponsor of the Olympics, is typical of hundreds of private companies in Los Angeles, which will voluntarily help reduce traffic congestion by introducing flexible working hours, a four-day week, special vacations, and off-peak hour deliveries and trash collection. GTE is setting up two special centers where nine major languages will be spoken by operators. A team of 450 technicians will operate five trailers at the venues equipped with the latest fiber optics to help broadcast 1,600 hours of programming to two and a half billion people around the globe. Los Angeles smog is as famous as its movie stars. How much, in fact, will the smog affect athletic performance? The effects of air pollution on people has been studied at the Rancho Los Amigos Hospital for the past 10 years. Volunteers in special that? air chambers that can simulate smog are subjected to different degrees of physical stress. Vital signs are carefully monitored and the results fed into a computer. Dr. Jack Hackney is in charge of the project. Ozone is the only uh, summertime air pollutant in Los Angeles likely to affect the Olympic athletes. We find that at high levels of ozone uh, affects respiratory tract irritation uh, and uh, possible effects on performance can occur. At lower levels, those that are more likely to be present during the Olympic events, it's much less likely that there will be uh, effects on the athletes such as respiratory tract irritation or effects on the uh, performance. Since 1952, Los Angeles has had in place a very sophisticated and aggressive anti-pollution program. As a result, smog has, in fact, declined every year for the past 10 years. Decades of study at the South Coast Air Quality Control Administration have given scientists a full understanding of how auto and industrial emissions interact with sunlight and weather to create smog. All of this knowledge and experience has been made available to the Olympic planners. Nine sports have no smog problems because they take place indoors. Seven sports are scheduled for places that have no history of smog episodes. The five remaining sports that will take place at venues where occasional smog episodes have occurred have been carefully scheduled for times of day when smog is minimal. When the daily weather and smog predictions are completed, they will be broadcast to the public as they have been for the past 30 years. As a further precaution, the authorities are asking local power plants to voluntarily switch to natural gas two weeks prior to the Olympics and oil refineries to curtail their production. 
for the entire day. What about safety, you wonder? Despite the fact that historically crime goes down during an Olympics, security has been a top priority for the planners of the Olympics. 60 law enforcement agencies are devoting 17,000 personnel and $100 million to the effort. Security officers in Los Angeles are by tradition well-educated, well-paid, highly motivated, and very professional. They are well-equipped and supported by the latest in communication equipment and computer technology. Okay, remember today there is the track and field events at like the Like the transportation Coliseum. engineers, so California Highway Patrol officers are accustomed today. to dealing One with very large crowds at sporting and cultural events. Well the problems the of supervising the large Olympic crowds stadium. will not be so, new to them. Uh, the, uh, All security officers have been going through be months of special training for the Olympics and are determined to make your Alvarez, stay in Los Angeles uh, a safe and secure one. And King Helicopters are routinely used to assist ground officers in the pursuit and apprehension of lawbreakers. During the Olympics, these helicopters will observe ground movement and warn of possible trouble before it begins. Ready for any possible emergency are the FBI's specially trained 50-member anti-terrorist squad and the world-famous Los Angeles Police Department SWAT team. Los Angeles intends not only to care for your body, but to nourish your soul as well. For 10 glorious weeks from June 1st through August 12th, the city will host one of the greatest arts festivals ever assembled. 400 performances by 80 companies and 23 exhibitions from 17 countries around the world will delight your senses. In addition to special events, there are numerous outstanding museums, including the Children's Museum, and the latest addition to the city, the Museum of Contemporary Art. Some critics worry that L.A. is jaded with so many major sports and cultural attractions year-round that maybe the Olympics won't arouse a spirit of enthusiasm from its citizens. To create a festive mood for the Olympics, the Olympic Committee has commissioned 10 prominent artists to paint murals on the freeway walls and sides of buildings. The organizing committee has also commissioned an ex-professional football player to celebrate the power and grace of Olympic competition in a series of highly stylized paintings. Ernie Barnes, whose keen eye has captured the excitement of sport in the streets of Los Angeles, is now creating works that visualize an athlete's search for excellence. the public's appreciation for athletic achievement, the First Interstate Bank has opened a sports museum in downtown L.A. that houses over 50,000 items of historic sports memorabilia. Here, one can remember great moments in sports by viewing Babe Ruth's bat, Jack Dempsey's glove, or Jesse Owens' shoe. L.A. has set the pace for restaurant styles. It is possible to taste the cuisine of every nation and culture in the world. Your appetite can be satisfied in any price range, from French cuisine to fast food. The Los Angeles Olympics is a private enterprise Olympics. When it is over, the city and its taxpayers will not be burdened by debt that takes years to repay. These ties are being manufactured and marketed by Rudy Cervantes, the official tie maker of the 1984 Olympics. Cervantes is Very one of a number job. of companies that are paying 10% of their sales to the Olympics as a license fee. Any surplus funds left over after the Olympics is paid for will be used to finance athletic programs for youth. Los Angeles is going completely red, white, and blue. This is gonna be the most exciting city in the world. John Mayer, John Mayer.
Another way of heightening public interest in the games has been the Olympic spirit team. 156 former Olympians who have won honors for the United States travel all over the country speaking to schools, churches, and professional groups. Tom Bradley, the mayor of Los Angeles, was a prime factor in winning the games for LA and plays a major role in enlisting community support. Sam, the Olympic Eagle, created by Walt Disney Productions, is the official mascot of the 1984 Olympics. Sam can be seen all over town getting people into the Olympic spirit. Since this is the first Olympics completely paid for by private enterprise, many of the promotional techniques of private business are being used. Thank you. A very effective way of giving Americans a taste of Olympic excitement is to have them participate in the Olympic Youth Program. This program is introducing boys and girls to many Olympic sports. There will be about 75,000 volunteers from all walks of life working at the Games. Many of the volunteer officials seen here are the same ones who will help officiate at the Olympics this summer. They are getting invaluable training in the rules and terminology of all the 21 Olympic sports. sponsors of the Olympics is the Transamerica Corporation. To encourage Olympic enthusiasm both inside and outside its company, Transamerica hit on the idea of forming an Olympic chorus. Members of the chorus are managers, office clerks, salespeople, computer operators. They rehearse during lunch breaks and give benefit performances in schools, churches, and company auditoriums. Excited that you're coming to our party. So don't worry about a thing. We want you to come to LA and have a good time. Welcome to LA. Welcome to LA. Welcome to LA. Welcome to LA. Welcome to Los Angeles. Welcome to Los Angeles. Welcome to LA. Love LA. LA is the place. Buenvenidos a Los Angeles. Welcome to LA. 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 When the runner bearing the Olympic torch from Greece lights the flame that will start the 84 game.